The Tucson Gem and Mineral Shows are now in full swing, and this year some vendors are breathing a sigh of relief. Last year, Cushing Street was closed because of streetcar construction, creating a traffic nightmare for the Pueblo Gem and Mineral Show, which sits right at the intersection. Now that construction has wrapped up. The show is celebrating its largest show ever. Nine on your side's Ricky Mitchell joins us live from downtown with more. Well, Valerie, lots of shows set up on the frontage road, but like you said, the Pueblo Gem and Mineral Show kind of suffered last year because Cushing Street was one of the only streets still closed for streetcar construction. But now, as you can see, traffic is flowing smoothly, and that's translating to a big turnout. It's a first for the Pueblo Gem and Mineral Show. This is the first year that we've been actually 100% sold out. The show sits right off I-10 at Cushing Street, which was not the best location last year with streetcar construction restricting traffic and possibly buyers too. I think there's a lot more activity if not more people are buying early. The show's general manager says vendors are now looking forward to when the streetcar starts running. It's attracting exhibitors with the prospect of having easy delivery of buyers by the streetcar systems. Some vendors say they're seeing a busier show this year now that it's easier to get there. It's more friendly to, to the consumer, obviously. It's easier for them to get here and to get parking. The parking is better as well. Now, while parking has improved this year, it's still kind of hectic down here. So if you want to use the free shuttle to get to and from all of the shows, we've posted information on our website with more information. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Ricky Mitchell, KGUN 9 on your side. Okay, thank you, Ricky.